Today we're talking about EDC. And no, I don't mean that hippie fest, the electronic daisy carnival, AKA an epileptic's worst nightmare, where a bunch of mollied up sweaty folks dance around with flashing lights and glow sticks and spread HPV. <laughs> Seriously though, get out of here with that shit, Gary. Get out of here. Today we're talking about the real EDC, every day carry. Now, everyday carry can kind of mean different things. Everything from down to what most people think about when they think everyday carry, which is like what you carry in your pockets, wallet, flashlight, pocket knife, hank, whatever your EDC is, all the way to like maybe a bag you carry with you every day. Maybe you go to work and you have a laptop and all the cords and chargers and different stuff you need for your job. Today, specifically, we're talking about a vehicle EDC. So all the stuff you would carry in your vehicle that helps you get through the day, helps you be prepared for pretty much anything you might encounter and kind of keeps you squared away. This is the first of a series we're gonna do where I'm building out my truck EDC. I've had my truck for I think a little over a year now and it's really way late. I should have done this much earlier, but I'm finally getting around to building out my kit and my truck. The whole build process from start to finish, today we're starting off with Built Right Industries, which is the system I'm gonna be using to help me organize and keep all the stuff that's gonna be in this EDC kind of neat, organized, and secure in my truck. Quick disclosures before we get rolling, because I always like to let you guys kind of know my relationship with companies that I'm doing videos on. My relationship with Built Right is basically nothing. I'm not getting paid for this video, and I do not have any kind of affiliate status with them where I earn money based on how many units sold. I did, however, reach out to them when I found their products online and asked if they would be interested in sending me some of their products for the series, and they are supplying the products. But no money's changed hands. They are not the sponsor of this video. They don't get to view this before I post it, and as always, I will be honest about the product. There is, however, a sponsor on today's video it's just not built right. Before we get cracking, let's take a second to talk about something else that is an everyday thing for your boy here, and that's coffee. And thank the sponsor of today's video, the good folks at Cometeer. Now, I always shoot you guys straight, and I have to say, when I first heard about Cometeer, I was, let's say, a little skeptical. I'm a bit of a coffee nerd. Some might even say a snob. I am a whole bean, fresh ground coffee kind of guy. I don't even trust the pre-ground stuff. So you can understand, I had some reservations about Cometeer holding up to the quality I was used to, but I was wrong. This stuff is fantastic. The folks at Cometeer are coffee nerds as well. So they take some of the best coffees around, fresh brew them, then flash freeze them into these little coffee ice cubes of goodness. The beaut here is not only do they preserve that awesome flavor of fresh brewed coffee, but they are really convenient, quick, and versatile. You can just add hot water and make yourself a standard cup of coffee. You could thaw it out, put it in a cup with some ice, add some cold milk, you got yourself a nice latte. Maybe you wanna thaw it out, put it in a cup with some ice, add some ice water, got yourself a nice coffee. Throw it just as it is into a smoothie to add a little coffee flavor. Tons of cool ways to use these little nuggets of joy. Also, everyone I've ever given this to is amazed when I tell them what it is. They are all convinced it is fresh brewed coffee because the stuff is just really good. They're always working with all kinds of different roasters, different beans, roast levels. So no matter what your flavor profile is, they probably have something that will float your boat. But it's also a great way to try different flavor profiles. You can also set these guys up to be delivered every month. So you always know you have your coffee situation squared away. And because Cometeer is sponsoring this video, they are giving us the best deal yet so you guys can save a little of that hard earned cheddar. Just use the code that should be popping up on the screen right about now. For a limited time, get $20 off your first and second month. So that's a $40 total. Pretty great deal, really. Click the link I will drop down in the description box below and give the good folks at Cometeer some love. Big thank you to those guys for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Got our coffee situation squared away. Let's get out in the garage, get to building some truck EDC stuff. So, Built Right. Really a pretty cool company. They make a lot of different 
solutions for organizing all your shit. I had uh, a decked system in the back of my truck a while back. And while I love that system, it was basically like a platform with drawers under it. Really cool for organization. My problem with the system was I would want to put larger items in my truck that would normally fit in the bed of my truck and I was able to close my tonneau cover to keep it dry. With the deck system, you're limited to like this much space under your tonneau cover and then it's exposed to the elements. So that was why it ended up coming out. Not to say anything bad about the deck system. I really loved it. I think it's great, but for my purposes, it was just causing me too many problems. So out it came. The new solution is this built right stuff we're looking at today. So what they do, if you guys know what Molly webbing is or Molly panels, I think it was invented by the military. I think a lot of military applications because it's very modular. It's basically a system in which with straps and different kinds of attachments, you can modularly, modularly <laughs> organize stuff, right? So, okay. These built right panels are these, these are, metal molly panels. It is black powder coated and it's pretty heavy duty, good quality stuff. You mount these along the bed of your truck and then you have all these little areas to mount stuff. You can put bolts through and mount stuff with that. If it's got something that's got molly in it, you can weave that through and then you can mount different kinds of packs. They have some mounts, which we'll show in this video, uh, rubber, I think they're called like power mounts, so I can't remember the name of them, but free to mount shovels and axes and fire extinguishers. You can mount all kinds of different stuff. Because these are metal, you can run tie straps through it, you can lash stuff to it. Possibilities are endless. And the good thing is, because it goes along the walls of the bed of your truck, it keeps kind of everything tucked away and organized and doesn't really take up any room in the bed of your truck because you know you got that wheel well that humps out and you kind of have that space that's on the outside by where the wheel well is in the way that you really can't load stuff into the bed of your truck anyway. This kind of utilizes that space and allows you to organize stuff and attach stuff to this. It keeps it secure in the bed of your truck, but kind of keeps it out of the way. So it's pretty awesome. I got a full kit that goes along both sides and the back. Panels that go on the backs of your seats inside the truck, which I got some of those. They have a bunch of these Molly packs for helping you organize stuff. They've got different mounts. It's a cool place. So definitely go check their website out. They've got a ton of cool organizational options on there. The panels are what we're installing or what the majority of this video is going to be about today. There's a lot of space in a truck, but there's not a lot of storage in a truck. This is going to be the kind of framework to allow us to have places to store all the shit that is going to go in this EDC. Because let me tell you, once we get done with this truck EDC, we're going to be ready for close to anything. Not quite everything. I know there's some of you super preppers out there are going to be like, you can't go out in that truck in the woods and live for three weeks without, well, no, we're not going to be there. That's long-term goal, but we're going to have pretty damn respectable loadout in the truck. So let's get cranking. First thing we're going to do, and I don't think it looks like it's terribly difficult, is we're going to start installing these panels along the bed of the truck. I actually really like this mounting system that they have. It keeps you from having to drill any holes in the bed of your truck or anything like that. It actually uses the existing little, I don't even know what the hell those holes are there for, but they're already in your truck and they just have little plastic plugs in them that you pop out. It uses those existing holes and it's got this cam system that goes down in there. You put it in the hole. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. <laughs> and then you twist it sideways, that engages, pulls tight, and then cinches that thing up super secure and tight in the back of your truck. So it's like one bolt, super easy to install. You don't have to drill any holes. Fucking genius. That was like crazy easy. I mean, it, it took me a little longer because I'm moving cameras around and doing all that, but for somebody who's not filming it, trained monkey could put that stuff in. Like I said, those little brackets that they use, 
that engage with the holes that are already in the truck make installation super easy. All the attachment points have slotted grooves in it so that if you need to edge it one way or the other, you know, little fitment issues or slop in there for you to be able to move things around. One of the first installations I've done in a while that I didn't run into some kind of hiccup or pain in the ass that caused a little bit of a dilemma on the install. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. So I have some of these guys right here. These are for holding shovels, axes, anything with a long cylindrical rod. <laughs> to the bed, you tax those in there. I'm gonna put those in in a little while when I put a shovel in here. And I got uh, these guys, which are um, for fire extinguishers. So I'm gonna put these right here back in the corner for easy access and mount a fire extinguisher back here. Always good to have a way to put out a fire. You never know when some your car is gonna catch on fire, roll up on an accident, somebody's shit's gonna be on fire, and it's always good to be able to help out others. So fire extinguisher. Definitely going right back here in the corner. But for right now, the next thing I want to do is I've got one of a very similar mo molly panel they make. It's all metal that's going on the back of my passenger side seat because from the front, that's where I can easily reach and grab stuff off of. Maybe put a med kit back there. That might be where I mount up my 300 blackout uh, truck gun build that I'm doing for this series because I can reach that for my seat. If I put it on the seat behind me, really I've got to be out of the car to get to that stuff and I'd like to be able to get to it from the driver's seat. So for right now, we're putting one panel on the passenger side seat. Hopefully that goes as easy as this did. We'll see. Baby, that right there is sex appeal. She is sexy and she is ready to f I am serious. If you'll notice, new hat, new shirt. This is not a continuity error in the video. It's the next day. As I was finishing up the install on the back of the seat Molly panel, my local gun store, who I got one of hats while I was there representing, called to let me know they found one of the shotguns I had been looking for, the new Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol. So I hope you understand why I cut the install short and tucked ass post haste to my local gun shop. Brand new, if I'm not mistaken, to this year's SHOT Show, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to get it. It looked awesome. I was in the market for a semi-automatic shotgun, and sometimes when these new guns hit, if they take off, they're impossible to find after people really find out about them. So I kind of wanted to get one while the getting was good because, I mean, look at that. I mean, that is a sexy bitch. Come on. Once I check it out, maybe we'll, uh, we'll do a review on the old second channel, a pew pew review over on the second channel. What do you guys think about that? That'd be something you're into. Check out a review of the old A300 Ultima. It's a thought. But we are back on track today and we're gonna finish up. The last step is we have some mounts and whatnot to put. And I'm gonna put a shovel and some axe, a few things in here to kind of show you guys how this stuff works. But the last step of actually installation of the, the system. I'm not gonna lie, this is the hardest part. This is the most difficult, most time consuming, and it's probably gonna require a lot of skill and patience on my part. All this other stuff's been easy, but this next part, may the force be with me. Also, maybe this should be my next truck gun. Overkill? <sighs> wait, wait. I'm just about to go install that when my UPS man rolled up. It's a little something from our friends at Vertex. Before we get to work, this could be cool stuff. Let's check it out. Oh, I know what this is. Ask those guys to send me over one of their Ready Pack 2.0. If I'm not mistaken, is what this guy's called. What I asked for. Let me, let me just check that. Yeah, the Ready Pack. This is going to be part of the truck EDC build too, so we'll go deeper into this later in probably the next part of the series. But this is going to be kind of my EDC bag that goes in the truck for if I need to 
have something more mobile out of the truck. Give me some extra space to pack some stuff from my truck EDC into this if I need to. Also, there will be some stuff, first aid and whatnot, that just lives in here all the time. So if we have to grab and go, we have a back for, uh, backpack for it. Don't wanna go too deep into this because it's gonna have its own part of the series. I mean, not a whole video dedicated to it, but it will be in the, the a later episode of the EDC build. But it just came. The UPS guy literally pulled up all right here. So I figured I'd at least give you guys a little sneak peek. The Vertex Ready Bag or Ready Pack 2.0. Also get all these cool inserts for it. It's got like a hook and loop field, a big hoop and loop field, a big hook and loop field in there. And they have all these different kind of things for different applications, holsters, packs, molly webbing, little loops for different pins and knives and whatnot, pouches, holsters. I'm not gonna get into this. Sneak peek though, Vertex Ready Pack 2.0 and some of the attachments gonna be in probably next upload of this series. This time we're really gonna go and install the most time consuming and difficult part of this install, unfortunately. Might as well get to it. I may have slightly exaggerated how difficult. <laughs> it's actually the easiest part of the install, which is why I saved it for last. These are uh, little Molly Velcro panels they sell. Just stick right on the back or underneath of truck seats. Some people who have SUVs, maybe you have some of this kind of carpeting in the back. You can pretty much stick them anywhere you have some of this kind of carpeting where a hook and loop field will stick to it. You can attach Molly packs to it. Uh, small things like knives and whatnot. It's just your standard molly webbing, just like everything else. This obviously, because it's only Velcro, is not going to be for super heavy stuff. Up and down this way, Velcro is very, very strong, but it does peel. So, you know, it depends on uh, what you're putting out. I'm gonna use this for like small stuff. Maybe a couple mag pouch holders, knives, pins, little flashlights, stuff like that, just to keep it organized. Maybe a roll of duct tape or something, because. I mean, duct tape can fix anything. Good to see more of that when we outfit all this stuff out. Today's video is just about the infrastructure. Velcro Molly panels. Genius. All right, just to kind of show you guys real quick some of this mounting stuff before we get off of here. This is the fire extinguisher mount I was telling you about. Holds in here with this rubber strap. That thing is not going anywhere. Then you've got the double straps I showed you guys holding a shovel against the wall back there we've got the same kind of double straps holding an axe and then just to kind of show you guys some of the possibilities I put a little molly panel or a molly pouch over here and I'm just right now I just have some gloves that I keep back here in but you guys, I think, can see kind of how this system can be super modular and really cover whatever you're looking to do with all the different Molly attachments, Molly pouches and stuff you could attach along here. Same with the back. And you just end up with a bunch of real estate to kind of configure it however you want, which is super handy. It's all very modular. You can change it as your needs change and kind of basically outfit it to whatever you want. All right, folks, let's wrap this one up. We've been at this all day. This video is probably already a good 20 minutes long, if not longer, and the wife wants to go out for tacos. Really a big fan of the Built Right system. I'll link everything down below. They've got it for a lot of different makes, models, trucks. They've got it even for Jeeps and some other vehicles. Definitely a very cool modular system. They even have like roto pack holders and stuff so you can hold water in your truck or extra gasoline. Or We'll see more of it as we go through the series and we kind of really start getting through the build out. Some different uses and ways I use this stuff but pretty cool stuff definitely check it out before we go though as always we got to draw a winner from last week's video and then we got to do a new giveaway Get random comment picker as always and go and the winner is wandering magoo 
<laughs> That's kind of an awesome name. Wonder Magoo says, thank you for your liquor sacrifice for our viewing enjoyment. Hashtag give me a flask, hashtag save the stack. That's because last week we were putting sacrilegiously expensive whiskey in cocktails. So Wonder Magoo, thank you my friend for being a subscriber, for commenting and liking the video. You will have a flask on the way. I will contact you down below in the comments so that I can give you our email so you can send us your mailing info. And as always guys, quick disclaimer, watch out for the scammers. Unless you hear me announce your name live in a video, you didn't win anything. If you see something from WhatsApp or some Telegram at what, that's not me, I will announce your name live in a video. If you didn't hear it live, it's a scam. What can we give away this? Let's do, uh, I just did the drop on the Visky whiskey glasses this past week, down below, uh, link down below if you're interested, but let's give away one of those this week. Rules are, as always, you gotta be a subscriber to the channel. And actually, you know what? Go subscribe to the other channel too. We're doing live streams over there weekly. Go subscribe to Jeremy Cyrus After Hours too. So you gotta be a subscriber to both channels. Changing it up this week, ladies and gents. <laughs> gotta smash that like button uh, and then comment down below, hashtag, this week, let's do hashtag Visky Whiskey because I have to remind myself of what the giveaway is and it rhymes. So there you go. <laughs> and hashtag Truck EDC. Like the video, subscribe to the channels, and next upload, I will draw a winner live. All right, folks, hope everybody enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And we'll see you in the next video. About to go get some tacos. It's this local place called Mojo's. And they do these tacos where it's a flour tortilla and they put some cheddar cheese on it and they fry it with a corn tortilla and they like double decker it. It's like a little local place. It is delicious. The guys at the gun shop actually turned it on to. And those tacos are fire. Those things are fire.